In this video, we'll be going over the average rate of change and the instantaneous rate of change. The average rate of change is just another way of saying find the slope between two points. So the average slope between two points is change in y over change in x, which we can rewrite as f at b minus f at a over b minus a. Keep in mind that in order to find the average rate of change, um, the slope between must be continuous. The instantaneous rate of change is the slope at one point. So if we take the derivative of a function at a point C, then we'll get the instantaneous rate of change. I went over that pretty quick, so let's go over some examples. Here we're given the function f of x equals x cubed plus 3x squared, and we're asked to find the average rate of change on the interval negative 2, 0. Um, we know that in this polynomial, um, in the interval negative 2 to 0, the function is continuous, so we're able to find the average rate of change. And to do that, all we do is find the slope between the two points. And we know that we can do that by just doing change in y over change in x. If I write it the fancy way, that's just f at b minus f at a over b minus a. And if we plug in the points, f when x equals b, which is 0, is just 0, minus f when x equals a, negative 2, that's 4, over b minus a, b is 0, and a is negative 2, so we're adding a negative number, or we're subtracting a number, negative number, and we get negative 4 over positive 2, and that's negative 2. So negative 2 is our average rate of change on the interval negative 2, 0. So now we're asked to find the instantaneous rate of change at x equals negative 1. And to do that, we know that we need to take f of x and get its derivative. So let's just write f of x here. f of x equals x cubed plus 3x squared. Then we take the derivative. Using the power rule, we get 3x squared plus um, 6x. So then if we plug in negative 1, f prime at negative 1, we get 3 times negative 1 squared plus 6 times negative 1. So that's 3 times negative 1 squared is just 1, minus 6, because we multiplied 6 by negative 1, and that's negative 3. So we get that the instantaneous rate of change when x equals negative 1 is negative 3. The average rate of change and the instantaneous rate of change will help us discover what the mean value theorem is, which we'll talk about in our next video with the extreme value theorem. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments, but if not, I hope you found this video helpful.